Hello, my name is Lauren Kelly. I'm a digital services librarian at Niles Main District Library. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get started using consumer reports. These days, many folks are spending more time at home. Perhaps you've noticed that you might need to purchase an item to help you with a project you've undertaken to bolster your newfound hobby. Perhaps you're looking for a new device for entertainment, or maybe you need to replace a home appliance that's been getting more use. But given our current situation, going to a store to test out a product before purchasing might not be the best option. Consumer Reports can help you with this. That provides unbiased reviews and ratings for products. The organization is a really trusted name. It specializes in product testing and research to help people make more informed purchasing decisions. They're not influenced by any sponsorships or advertising. Here's how to get started. Visit www.nileslibrary.org. Go to the Research tab. This is where you can find all of our digital databases. You might find something here of interest. Since we know we're looking for consumer reports, I'm going to click C for Consumer Reports. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and click the link. Enter your library card number and we're in. Once you're on the home page, you can browse or search for a product you're looking to purchase. You can also read news stories and learn about current trends and issues affecting the consumer landscape. Hovering over product reviews will show this screen where you can really sort by the subject you're looking to research. Go ahead and click a product that you might be interested in. You can see that there are four different information tabs for really every category. I've chosen clothes dryers. You can see an overview. For instance, uh, this one's broken down to electric and gas or compact. You can also go right to ratings for different types. You can see that all products have an overall score based on professional feedback and also consumer reviews. If you find a couple that you might be interested in, you can go ahead and compare them by going to add to compare and then you can see just a couple stacked against each other. On the left, you can also put in some sorting criteria for instance, sorting by brand, limiting by the overall score or price range. These allow you to filter the results. You can also sort based on just one criteria, for instance, noise or convenience or performance. You can see that all these products are rated poor, fair, good, very good, or excellent. In addition to the overview and ratings, there's also two more tabs here. These are products that Consumer Reports recommends based on the tests. There's also a buying guide. This informational guide is a great place to start. Some even have interactive videos. Besides browsing by hovering over product reviews, You can also do a search. Once you've identified something that you would like, again, you'll see those four tabs, overview, ratings and reliability, recommended, or the buying guide. On the homepage of Consumer Reports, you'll also see news stories, which might also inform your decision. As a library user, you get additional benefits for Consumer Reports, as seen on the homepage on the right side. These include the best time to buy, the car recall tracker, and more. This is all included when you sign in with Niles Main District Library. 
Consumer Reports is a great tool to use when considering a new purchase. We hope that you take advantage of this library offering. If you have any questions about using Consumer Reports, you can contact the Digital Services Department at dsdesk at nileslibrary.org. Again, that's dsdesk at nileslibrary.org. Happy shopping!